Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the general journal and how we record our debits and credits in it. This is where we record transactions by entering the accounts to be debited and the accounts to be credited with their amounts. We'll also generally give a brief description of what the transaction relates to. Now, in our previous lesson, we looked at what a debit is, what the credit is, and how it's recorded and what what accounts are recorded on the debit side and what account are recorded on the credit side. So that should be the first lesson you should check out before you check out this one. If you do not know that one clearly, you can click on the link on the top right of the screen or in the description below. Otherwise, if you are gaining value from any of our lessons and if you haven't checked any of your videos, I'm sure you gain value from them. Please consider subscribing to our channel and liking our videos. That really helps us a lot. So let's go ahead. The general journal. Remember when we have transactions, we have to record it in our books whenever a transaction takes place. And we use something called the general journal to enter, to enter our debits and our credits. So let's look at the following examples here. Here's how we do our debits and credits. In the general journal, we have date, we have the account, we have debit and credit. So we will first put our date, we'll put the account for which the transaction has taken place and then we'll have our debit and our credit so we have to know which account is debited and which account is credited that is why i mentioned that the previous video is very important to watch before watching this one if you do not know that information now it's also important to know that in this lesson and for all these transactions that we're going to be looking at we are ignoring that so we do not take that into consideration just for the sake of explaining and for simplicity of the examples that are to follow if you'd like to check out a lesson where we take into account VAT or value added tax, then you can click on the link on top right of the screen or in the description below. But we'll look at that a bit later. So let's begin. Our first transaction tells us that on the 1st of January 2019, the owner deposited 50,000 Rand into the business. So when the owner deposits money into the business, we have to do that transaction. So the question is, what are the two accounts involved? That's very important to know before you do your journals. What are the two accounts involved? Well, the first one is capital and the second one is bank because money is coming into the bank. The owner takes money and puts it into the business. So the bank is increasing and then we also have capital which is increasing as well. But we have to know what is our debit and what is our credit. So the previous lesson would have helped you do that. And we begin with our debit side. So what is the first one? So let's put our date. It's the 1st of January. And what is the first account? Like I mentioned, it's bank and capital. But we'll always start with our debit side. So where do we put bank? We put it on our debit side because it's an asset. And assets increase on the debit side because there's money coming in. So we put bank and we put the amount on the debit side. Now, like I mentioned, we have capital as well, which increases on the credit side. So we'll put capital and we'll put the amount there, 50,000 Rand. Now, it's important to also remember that your journals must balance. Your debit side must balance with our credit side. And you can see that the amounts are the same here. And we have to put a brief description of what this transaction relates to. So we'll say cash deposit from the owner. However, you put the description does not really matter as long as you speak to what the transaction is is about and you'll get the the description from the actual question or from the actual transaction over here you can so you can write anything you can say deposit from the owner or the owner puts money into the business it doesn't matter you'll be uh, you'll be correct by putting it however you you choose to so that's the first transaction you can see how simple it is if you know what the two accounts are or what the accounts involved are and what we debit and what we credit so let's do the second one on the 3rd of January 2019, we are told that we purchased inventory for 7,000 Rand and it was paid for in cash. Now the question is, what are the two accounts? Well, if you think about it, or if you know the answer, the two accounts are inventory over here, because we purchased inventory. And then the second account is bank, because we purchased it for cash. And some people would call it cash when they are putting in the transaction, like here, they would, instead of calling it bank, they would call it cash. That's also fine. But we will call it bank. So we purchased inventory for 7,000 Rand. The first account is inventory. And inventory is an asset. So an asset increases on the debit side. So that's the first one we're going to do. So let's first put our date, 3rd of January. And then we put our account, inventory. Because inventory is coming into the business. 
and then we put the amount 7000 rand what is the second transaction what is the second account like i mentioned it's bank money is going out because we are paying to get the inventory we are buying the inventory using cash so we put bank and we put 7000 rand now let's put our description bought inventory using cash so that is it with our second one you can see how simple the this is you just have to understand the principle behind them let's do the third one on the 7th of january 2019 we bought equipment for 120,000 rand by form of a long-term loan so what happened here is that we bought equipment but we took out a loan in order for us to buy this equipment so the question is what are our two accounts the first account there is equipment and the second one is long-term loan or loan so let's start with our date the 7th of january and what is equipment equipment is an asset and it increases on the debit side so we start with our debit side always always remember to start your debit side we put equipment hundred and twenty thousand rand and then how did you buy this equipment we bought it using a long-term loan so a long-term loan is a liability and a liability increases on the credit side so we're going to put long-term loan hundred and twenty thousand rand and then let's put our description bought equipment using a loan bought equipment using a loan and that's it for that question number three so let's look at question number four on the 15th of january 2019 we bought inventory again for ten thousand rand on credit from the supplier so remember the the second one was saying we bought inventory using cash but this one here tells us we bought inventory on credit that means we owe the suppliers money so we bought it on credit what are our two accounts then well if you guessed inventory you're correct inventory is our first account and the second one is accounts payable accounts payable because we bought it on credit we didn't pay our suppliers yet or creditors control so whichever one of the two accounts payable or creditors control but we uh, usually use accounts payable so when you see accounts payable we're talking about the money that we owe to our suppliers so we put the date 15th of january 2019 so we had to move it down for the sake of space and then we put the asset that the, the account that we debit which is inventory and put ten thousand rand and then we credit accounts payable because it's a liability and we owe the money to the supplier so liabilities increase on the credit side so we put accounts payable ten thousand rand on the credit side let's have our description bought inventory on credit bought inventory on credit that's the fourth one now let's move to the last one which is the fifth one for this particular lesson we have on the 31st of january 2019 depreciation for equipment for the period was 1200 rand depreciation for equipment for the period was 1200 rand now think about it what do you think the two accounts are well the first one is depreciation and the second one is accumulated depreciation on equipment accumulated depreciation on equipment now if you don't understand depreciation if you do not understand what accumulated depreciation is we have a series of lessons in the link in the description below yeah, we have links to the to those lessons in the description below so be sure to check that one out for you to understand this one but depreciation is an expense and expenses increase on the debit side so we're going to start with depreciation because we started our debits so i had to remove the first three because of space so we start with depreciation 1200 rand and the second one accumulated depreciation 1200 rand but it's important that we stated accumulated depreciation on equipment because it's equipment that this depreciation relates to like i said if you do not understand this don't sweat you can click check the links in the description below and it will take you to those lessons and then we put our our description there or our, our, our explaining what happened in the in the in the in this transaction we say equipment depreciation for the period and that is it that is how the general journal works where you put your date you put the accounts involved and there's always either two or more accounts involved a minimum of two accounts and for all our examples we add two accounts if you'd like to check other examples where we have vet and where we have other 
other, other things involved especially when we sell things like inventory where we have cost of sales and those other things you can check the lessons in the link in the description below so we have a lot of links in the description below which will help you understand this lesson further now we used the same example to do the accounting equation so if you'd like to check that one out you can also find the lesson in the in the description below you'll find the link to that lesson in the description below where we use this exact same transactions to do the accounting equation so you can check that one as well i hope this lesson has made sense and that you have learned something from this lesson always remember we have at least two accounts for every transaction and we start with our debit side then our credit side it's important for you to know what is debited and what is credited so if you have learned or you have any queries from this lesson please consider commenting below and letting us know what you have learned or what you are confused about and what you'd like to query and we will respond to you till next time cheers